Good Sunday afternoon. Today we're looking at the SciTag Universal Mag Pouch. This is one I got to use for uh, some 1911 magazines. I had some soft side pouches I didn't really like, and I've tried some other hard sides, so I'm giving giving this a go. SciTag is a company I've never heard of before, and they are not sponsoring this in any way. I just thought I would show them off been wearing them for a few days and see what you think so the package comes with a couple of allen wrenches for your various adjustments the, the magazine adjustments themselves are done with this series of thumb screws and of course you can tell they are sized down for a single stack magazine and we'll take a look at how the magazines fit in there. I've got some single stack and double stack that I'll show you. The belt attachment has this clamshell function and you can adjust to the width of your belt with this thumb screw. Turning clockwise lowers it, counterclockwise will close it down for a thinner belt. The 1911 pouch, or using as a 1911 pouch, slides in, fairly good locking. I've worn it for a few days, and even when the pouch goes upside down, you don't get a whole lot of movement. Now, I didn't tighten these down with a Phillips head screwdriver, so you could probably get them to go even more, but not terrible. And what we'll do is we'll adjust these out and try a couple double stack magazines. Now these are two different sized SIG magazines. One is 17 round, the other is a 21 round. Both of them are for the 320. So let's see how this thing functions as a double stack fit for these. I don't know that I'm going to go to max, but if you can see in there, there is a spring tensioner for that thumb screw. Let's see how much. Uh, no, we're going to need to go a little, a little more on that one. All right, looks like we've got a fit on that 21 rounder. Open the front. This one. Fit there, and then just tighten them down to your tension preference. These are not a really expensive magazine pouch, obviously, and but they function. It's a good way just to have a kind of a hard-sided case. I found with 1911s using the old GI style, which was what I had on a belt for a long time, those magazine pouches, being that they're soft, they, they tend to flop a little bit. Not bad tension at all. Well, I hope you liked it. And if you're in the market for a magazine pouch and don't want to spend a fortune right now, give them a try, see what you think. And that company is SciTech. They're at www.scitac.com. Again, thanks for watching. If you like what we're doing, consider subscribing to us. And we will see you later.